Hi all, welcome to our channel. Today we are seeing to how to generate Excel using JXLS with Spring Boot. Let's get started. So earlier, so we can generate Excel report using Spring Boot without JXLS. We can be able to possible to download the Excel, but uh, we have here uh, one problem is here. So we cannot customize the XML uh, like. we cannot uh, change font colors uh, etc but we c uh, but we can be able to achieve those challenges using uh, jxls template uh, jxls template is nothing but it's a small java library to make the generate excel report easy for other user uh, perspective customize user wise customize we can be able to possible So it is kind of special uh, marker of XML template to define the output format uh, data layout per uh, user uh, we want. Let's get uh, let's uh, get started. So let me open my script. So already we have developed actually uh, one Spring Boot with the JXLS uh, uh, project. So here we have added the for go to the form dot XML. So we have added only one dependency here with the JXLS POI. so another one is web so what uh, i am uh, did is so i fetching uh, i am fetching some data from calling op calling to open api and uh, display in the excel with jxls format so let's open so here actually <coughs> jxls nothing but is actually is is kind of a, a template a template a xml template excel template so let me open so here actually i have created a resource folder in one jxls folder is there here i i created two uh, kind of different uh, template so let me open so already open here so it is a basic um, jxls template so main advantage is using the jxls template we cannot customize here the uh, is the template so we can change create background colors through and change the font so i can uh, put it in the tabular format so i can customize the total record like that so we cannot easily will customize whatever the user we want we can easily will customize that's what the jxls will help to develop uh, easily with per uh, developers so it is kind of uh, jxls template so we have here so we have set up bunch of uh, inbuilt function they provided so we can use like a if loop for each so we can uh, uh, group by sort by so we cannot uh, use it so here uh, we are using the like symbol for loop uh, only basically used so here actually so it is uh, it's a basic uh, jxls template so here first we mandatory will set the what is the starting point of uh, jxls area so here is a uh, why because this is uh, the xml is a big xml so but we need to inform to our java engine so where will start our the jxls um, uh, template start and end so we need to specify here is a starting point jxls area so it is a last cell is i6 i6 means i think that is a 6 yeah yeah this is yeah this is i6 right here is i6 so here is the ending so what what here means is actually the template is starting from uh, a1 to i6 so after that so so in this particular uh, area so will java engine will executed the jxls keyword and uh, implemented actually our uh, data processing so here i what i will do so i create the one character and uh, put it the total number how many records will count so i will put it so what mean will mean so we added the dollar symbol at the count so here is it's a syntax so it's a count is a variable so the way the the value is assigned to from java so let me uh, i will show you so same thing so in this example i have added created two variables and assigned the value from java so one is count another one is list ap data so it is kind of for each it is like kind of java for loop 
so here actually is the starting bit here also need to specify so uh, star where look it is kind of item means so it is kind of variable so this variable only we can assign the uh, data so it is it is like a variable declared to iterate like for loop we can use it right for int i is equal to zero like a uh, like we say declaration where we we cannot uh, get the data from uh, the list using the, the where key so it is a last key last call. the last cell is uh, mandatory why because the jx is uh, uh, templates so of where where is ended so it is starting from here and end it from here so it, it will keep on processing so here is why i need to add at the uh, getting the from calling from the value from data so let's check actually here is the syntax the dollar brace open brace and here end the press so inside is a data dot category so it is a sap data is a list of data so we can iterate like uh, data dot category data dot api so data but here is only important things we can use the fun start uh, so fun is nothing but actually <coughs> we cannot uh, customize our input uh, uh, here so what i will do means so here here uh, the, so the fetch the value from the database i have getting the boolean value but here what i will do now so we need to change it like to true for based on our condition we cannot customize in calling to our uh, java uh, utility so fun is not is a not a uh, function it is like an a key variable like say similar count and ap data so i can assign the fun equal to one java class so it is uh, the validate http validate http is a kind of method of that utility class so we can pass the parameter based on we can return the value customize and uh, let to check with uh, uh, let, let me show you the code so it is a simple basic template okay so let me close it so we let uh, op let me open the code so here is what i will do so i will add at the uh, two dependent three dependency one is uh, Spring Boot Charter Web, another one is Lambak, another one is JXL. This is only mandatory to using the JXLS. So, yeah, here we need to create actually one uh, JXLS controller. So, here I created three APIs. Why? Because actually I have created two templates. So, in one is XLS and in, uh, latest version of XLS. So, it is kind of this customized. We can pass provided the basic uh, calling the type. Uh, can. so let me show you the example so here actually this is a kind of uh, uh, on rest api so we add at the response state so here what i will do now so it is a response data is nothing but the customized data you have i have created the count and the list of global info this kind of json properties will getting from our open api so let me show you so here is the open so here i this so i using the open head api the publish api calls entry so i invoke so you see you see it is normal it is uh, using the rest template and will uh, call in the open api get api so the response data is bind so we'll get actually it's the response so uh, when we call the output so i will get like that actually count and list of global entries so uh, here so i will how to Oh, how to process the those data into XML format? So let me show you. So here actually this line, so we'll get uh, j nothing but just will invoke the open API and we'll uh, fetch the result. So how to process means <coughs> it is a file name. File name is nothing but it's a generate how to download the file like that. So in API data, it is kind of the prefix. So we have added the random number one between 1 to 100 so yeah it is the file name so it is actually <coughs> here actually what i will do now so i will the uh, first i will the uh, passing the mm, uh, the uh, response data is converted into the byte stream so after the convert the file stream so we have process this is a sample <coughs> symbol mm, sample format to how to convert generated the uh, jxls sorry uh, excel format so first we need to specify the add at the response character with the content disposition the attachment and uh, file name so we need to provide the file name so it is kind of the content type uh, the, uh, wa what wa what kind of uh, response 
uh, we need to uh, return the API. So here I specify the MX and Excel. So whatever when we invoke the we calling this API, so we will get the Excel uh, Excel output. So let me go, go inside how to convert it into the data into byte uh, So yeah. Here is a sample XML. So here is a downloader. So it is kind of easy. It is a template name. So okay. Template na name nothing but is a API data. So API data is I uh, have in the uh, resource and JXLS. So another one point. So in go to application da dot properties we need to specify to two properties. So in it is where is it in the tem uh, JXLS template path. So we have created the one resource in resource folder in the JXLS folder. So I create one folder and uh, specify the output path. Yeah, okay, where will be generated output? So as of now, we are using the uh, JXLS template path. So let me open, my go to go back, okay, downloaded. So here actually <coughs> just is getting the template name. So, so template name. So what will do means first we need to pass actually template path so here I fetching the whatever the application properties if specify so we have oh, fetching the template path as well as the file name so in this just is a normal file read like that so I fetch the input okay so here is the two my important things actually so I already show you show you okay so here we need to create the two variable right so one is this count another one is uh, app data so here i we cre created actually app data and count so based on so we have set it actually so we created one map and set it and uh, the response data so it is kind of open api response so open api response to get api data will list up uh, entity so list up global info so we have bind it that variable so in the total count so how much uh, record so in the open api return so it is kind of basic thing so we have added the map so it is kind of on utility so we have <coughs> passing the input input stream means just as a template reading so output is so how to where we generated our output so it is a map so let me go to inside this is a, this is a important part of the how to generate the XML so already they provided a lot of uh, SDK uh, sample uh, open uh, J JDK SDK like so everything will provide the helper class so easily will uh, call in the helper so we can get easily generate so here is the uh, contest so contest is nothing but so we need to add so we already we added the map right so here <coughs> so we need to add that map into the contest to put key is like key whatever the key and it will value is the model so it is like we can add the contest so it is a jxls helper so already provided so easily will the wrapper class so based on the wrapper class we can easily build it so it is kind of two kind of uh, customized option we can guide template so if you generate the response uh, so we can be able to guide or not so deleted so like that it's a transformer so it is a main important point so we need to <coughs> uh, convert it into the input actual <coughs> the, uh, the count is how to transfer the template into the real-time data so it is a transformer uh, is like so we can passing the uh, input stream like actually jxls template so here is a jx evaluator so yeah it is like it is uh, express uh, expression evaluator it is like uh, again on the, on the helper class so we can easily will generate uh, our example template into the response data so here one more important point already i showed same like that actually added the function map so already i shown so here is actually <coughs> the function uh, is right that the function dot uh, the function is one another keyword so here i will show so a few n so i equivalently uh, set the one utility class so it is our customized utility class we have added the validated um, uh, map so here is following the flag so what i will do is customize the output so you uh, so open uh, api will return the boolean value but i want to uh, print the error, error report in the string values yes or no those kind of value to us value as those kind of uh, purpose also we can customize so <coughs> let's me go to again 
yeah yeah here actually we can add a same so here actually the jxl as engine so builder so automatically will passing the um, uh, namespace so automatically will uh, the generated at the time so automatically will cut it so it is a simple uh, already predefined uh, jxl as uh, tem uh, template code so yeah it is easily so yeah that is simple things just to be ladder and pass it so after that so yeah here after that we'll return the true okay so yeah go let me go to controller here i passing the okay don't order okay so here actually mm, output yeah here I okay so output is actually already passing so so the output is converted into the byte stream uh, same thing this output is converted into the uh, byte output stream so let me show you so here i shall already passing the actually we have uh, that uh, transfer is the template stream so target stream so the template is converted uh, into the uh, real time xml data and uh, write it in the uh, output stream so we cannot get it from the output stream into the byte stream okay let me open okay here i will get the uh, the original data so you so here we need to pass the uh, output so let me already i started the project so let me open my screen so here is a sample it's a get api so i have added so uh, it is a local ghost the jxls and download as uh, let me op oh, show you once yeah it is a request mapping is your root uh, uh, prefix so here I uh, example also downloaded the JXL so it is a cat mapping so I open the uh, just I click enter <coughs> so what will do only I will click the enter so it will be fetch the uh, uh, data from the um, wait one minute what oh, wait start a right okay Oh, sometimes we'll get problem for you because we're calling the open api so maybe it will be down right so yeah meanwhile i will show you how to download it yeah oh, let me stop or we will try okay okay yeah one more point actually here already we need to close okay if you open the template is sometimes not cutting the response okay yeah let me try again why because already i opened the template yeah we cannot uh, we can must close otherwise we cannot able to so let me open my screen so yeah yeah this is the response so let me open my template as well so it so, so it is a template this is a real time data so we cannot customize the background color and font and the total so let me open show me so here same things so open api so how many record we can it is a count is the value is coming from our uh, spring boot controller so same thing the category so another one more point it is a yes yes or no so here is coming from so originally will return uh, the HTTP is true or for the boolean value so i want to customize same base we can using actually <coughs> the the calculation logic the so some validation uh, calculation logic so some kind of sum and average so everything we can customize uh, customize in the jxls template so we can create our uh, java function so we can get work yeah it is a symbol yeah thank you